What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, back doing some double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Seriously guys, if you do enjoy the content, make sure you show up by smash that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support on these videos has been amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough. In today's video, we are rocking out with this Bisharp team. It actually caught my eye. I was looking through like frontal teams and all that, and this one caught my eye because I love Bisharp. I really do love Bisharp. I love his design. I love how he attacks and all that good stuff. So I picked this team out to use in some ranked battles. Rocking in that front spot, we got this Whimsicott, which is always a good Pokemon for double battles considering with that, you can rock that Tailwind, that Encore, that Giga Chain, and that Move Blast. I really do like that move set on him with that focus test so he doesn't just die in one turn we can set up multiple tailwinds then we got this choice scarf darmantan which is a solid physical attacker on this team with icicle crash u-turn superpower and flare blitz rocking that choice scarf like i said to give him that speed boost and all that good stuff then the heart of this team the reason why i picked it is this fish sharp right here with this assault vest right here rocking iron head throat chop sucker punch and low sweep to do some damage our big physical attacker for this team same thing with that arcanine another physical attacker that we're rolling out with this team Holding that Citrus Berry with Protect, Will-O-Wisp for the Burns, Flare Blitz, and Wild Charge for some damage. Then we got this Raichu with Lightning Rod. We showed off a Raichu with Lightning Rod with a different moveset in a video before, a couple videos before. And he is awesome. I cannot wait to show him off again in this video. He's rocking Life Orb. So if he can soak up one Electric move with Lightning Rod, he's going to be doing some work. He's going to be doing some work. He's rocking Protect, Volt Switch, Search to hit both the Pokemon Surf. I miss pronounce that one but it's okay we're rocking out here and he has fake out to actually get that first move priority and actually uh flinch the opponent then we got this jelly scent rocking in the back end with leftovers definitely a beast definitely a tanky little pokemon with shadow ball first stab water spout shun sap and protect this jelly scent is going to work well because we can actually bait some electric moves and go in with that raichu and do all that work soak it up with the lightning rod and get going with that life orb but guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely check it out, use it up, and let me know for question of the day. What is your favorite steel type Pokemon? Because Bish Sharp is definitely one of my favorites. Same thing with Scissor. They were awesome. They're awesome. Also, guys, if you have rental teams for me, leave them in the comment section down below. I would love to use your guys' teams for these battles. But guys, let's hop into these battles. Battle number one coming at you guys. This guy's rocking Draco Fish, Darmantan, Toxpec, a Flygon, Berserker, and an Extra Jolt. Definitely a very strong team. Very strong team coming out here. Who are we going to rock out with? I think Arcanine can do some work, especially against that Berserker, that Darmantan, and that actual. So, Arcanine, come on down. You're the next contestant on Jeans' YouTube channel. <laughs> um, we're going to lead Whimsicott, probably Whimsicott, Arcanine, and then roll in with the, with the Raichu but Sharp combo. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. He has a few physical attackers that my Bisharp can eat up. But I think that is the play. Let's do it. Let's go. Boom, boom, right here. We can set off some burns, get this Raichu in the back, and have this Bishart rolling in the back also, because I want to show him off. He's awesome. But guys, if you'd like to catch more content from me, you guys know the deal. Link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. If I'm live, come hang out. If not, hit that follow button. Swing by later. Seriously, we stream four plus days every single week, and it's tons of fun. But you guys can tell my throat is still killing me. We still haven't fully gained our voice back, which is tough, which is tough, which is tough. But I'm still pumping out that content for you guys, so hope you guys do enjoy. I hope you guys do enjoy. Okay, what what are we gonna go into? He's going into that ch -ch -ch, probably that Dynamax right there. We might Dynamax early on here. We might Dynamax early on here. I'm thinking that's the play. I'm thinking we go Tailwind right off the bat, and then we Dynamax here and go straight for Max Flare. Set this drought. We're gonna try to set this drought right off the bat. Go after sexual. Hopefully it's not Focus Ash. I hope not. But we should be able to outspeed. We should be able to outspeed easily. We're gonna try to do some work on it. Get this drought set up. Try to not like even get him a, a chance to start doing work. Because these two Pokemon, heavy physical attacker with the extra and heavy special attacker with that Flygon. So if we can just get after him early, we'll be fine. If they don't double up on, on my Wim Scout, we're gonna get a free Moon Blast on that Flygon next turn. So here goes the Dynamax right into our Arcanine. Arcanine's a beast. Arcanine's a beast all around. Great Pokemon, seriously. Really good Pokemon. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna go into our Tailwind, boost our speed for our ally Pokemon, which is awesome, which is beautiful. And now Arcanine will get that move priority here. But first, is this thing Focus Ash? Show me it's not. Tis not. Tis not Focus Ash. Thank you very much. See you later, Extra Drill. That is beautiful. No Sand Rush for him. Now, what is this Flygon gonna go into? He's gonna go after my Arcanine? I wouldn't mind it. I would not mind it. Sandstorm. Ooh, okay. Why didn't he? That's fine. He's trying to set up Sandstorm. We're just going to go into another Max Flare. Take that out of the way right here and go into a Moon Blast. But he does take out our, what's it called? Our Focus Ash with that Sandstorm buff. It. Which is fine by me. I know we outspeed. We can get a free uh, Moon Blast going. But I need to get rid of this Flygon. This Flygon's got to go. 
He's got to go. He's definitely got to go. So we might just double up on him right here. Thinking that that is exactly what's going to happen. I can see him rolling into maybe the Pex. The Darman, the Darman attack comes in. Who do we take out here? Who do we take out here? I know we got to go for a Moon Blast on you. Who do we go after? I say we just go after a Star Manitan here. We have to go after a Star Manitan. Lightning will not affect that Flygon. So we're going to just punk out with a fire move on the Star Manitan. We're going to outspeed. We're going to outspeed and we're going to get the Sandstorm out here. We're going to say, see you later, Sandstorm. You're gone, buddy. You are gone. But I can see him Dynamaxing his Star Manitan, but I know we will outspeed with that Tailwind, which is beautiful. So hopefully this thing is not Focus Ash. Is he going with that Star Manitan? That would not be the smart play. The Flygon would be the better call, but I just see him going into that Star Manitan for some reason. Let's see. Like I said, yep, Darmanitan gets it. Should have gave it to that Flygon, dude. We don't really have anything to really counter that Flygon. That's why Wonders Cot just punks on it right here. <laughs> but we will outspeed. Like I said, outspeed is easy with this team. Let's go. Because Tailwind's huge. Moonblast pops out. How much damage are we going to do to this Flygon? Yeet. <laughs> Whimsicott doing some absolute work. Absolute work. Dropping a special attack, which is beautiful. And is he weak this policy? This thing's weak this policy? Wow, if you don't take out our Pokemon, you are done because we outspeed easily. Max player's gonna come out here. Is this thing Focus Ash? We're gonna do some damage to this thing. It is not focus. It could have been Focus Ash. We're not too sure, but we didn't even take it down all the way. So we just gotta eat up some hits and we take out that Sandstorm, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. What is he gonna go for? He's gonna go for a Steel Wing on my Whimsicott. We eat that up, no problem. No problem, we eat that up. And he's gonna come across probably with a Max Rock Ball, yep, on my Arcanine. Come on, Arcanine, eat. Come on, Arcanine, eat. Eat it, buddy. Beautiful, gee, beautiful. We will outspeed. We can say bye bye to both our Pokemon here. We can say bye bye. We're gonna get this Sandstorm out of here. Cause we will outspeed with that Tailwind once again. Dude, we're sitting pretty here. Here goes our Barry. Here goes our Barry here. Just beautiful. What a start. What a start. I can see this guy just leaving, dude. I can see this guy just leaving. He's probably gonna. Uh, is he gonna take out our Pokemon here? No, we outspeed. Like I said, unless uh, Tailwind peters out. Does that take him out? Ooh. Close, close, close. Moonblast coming in here. Lagon. And we're just gonna go for another Max Flare. Take out this drought. He's gonna be down to one Pokemon. I can see this a clean sweep right off the bat. I can see this clean sweep right off the bat. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. He might just leave. I can see him just bounce boogie and skid in on Moonblast pops out. See you later, Flygon. See you later, buddy. A hey, Flygon gone. And then Darmanitan's gone, dude. This is gonna be a clean sweep right off the bat. It's gonna be a clean sweep. Unless his other Pokemon outspeeds, he just takes out my Wimscott. But I can see him just hitting the bounce boogie skididdle button, the little quit button, and wrapping it up. But I can see this guy being, uh, very petty and just going after my Wimscott so I don't get that, uh, so I don't get the sweep, which would actually be pretty funny, kind of. <laughs> Let's see. Who's his last Pokemon, though? Is it the Pex? I don't think he's rolling the Pex all the way in that back end. That'd be nuts. The Berserker. This is fine. Which is fine. We'll just flare that thing up. Player what's it? Night night. See you later. See you later, buddy. Well, there is no sandstorm anymore, so we can't get buffeted by it for a Wimscott. We'll just finish this thing off. We'll just go for a this will just go for a moon blast. Probably lower its special attack, but Player Blitz will take it out one hit. Unless it's focus ash. Unless it is focus ash. But I see him hitting that cancel button. He does not hit that cancel button. But the Wimscott will take off that focus ash, which is beautiful. And we can say bye-bye. Good game sweeping in our first match with this team. I really want to show up to Bashard and that Raichu, but didn't even have to. Didn't even have to roll out with this team and just dominate it. Just absolutely dominate it. But we will definitely be showing off that Bisharp and that Raichu. Maybe that Jelly Scent too in the next battle. Let's go, guys. This guy's rocking Arcanine, Snorlax, Raichu, Claydol. Oh, Claydol. You don't really see much of them. Tokus and the Gyarados. Since he is rocking that electric Pokemon with the Raichu, we're going to be bringing in our Jelly Scent and our Raichu to try to beat that electric move and go into a Lightning Rod. I can see this thing being Lightning Rod also. I'm kind of scared, so I got to play it a little bit safe. But definitely leading that Whimscott once again. And probably going Whimscott? Do we go Whimscott Jelly Scent? Yeah, let's go Whimscott Jelly Scent in case he leads that Gyarados. And we can uh, try and sap it up. And then we can have Raichu and Bisharp in the back to do some damage. We're just going to try to be setting up with this uh, team right off the bat. With this uh, Whimscott and that Jelly Scent. Then have my physical attacker in Bisharp and our special attacker in our Raichu. Chilling in the back. We're going to be doing some work this battle. See him leading that Gyarados or that Arcanine. Either or. Either or I can see him lead. Which is fine by me. Which is fine by me. I'll probably just strength sap one of them. So I can gain some health back and lower his attack. Which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Let's see. He's definitely got to be leading the Gyarados or the Arcanine. Definitely. In a front spot. Maybe with the Toad Kiss. Let's see. Toad Kiss and the Snorlax. Wow. I thought he was going to lead an Intimidate Pokemon. But it does not. That Snorlax could be Gigantamax. Max. So you got to watch out for that. We're going to be rolling out with a Tailwind right off the bat. A Tailwind. 
This beautiful tailwind, and then we're gonna be rolling out into a what's water spout? Does that turn the water? User spouts water. Oh no, this is a damaging move. The lower the user's HP, the lower the move's power. So Snorlax, we're going after you. Oh, this is double. This is double attack. We're gonna go for a water spout right off the bat. They're all at full HP, and, and the Snorlax is a rather tanky Pokemon. So if they have Dynamax, I think it will do more damage here. Because they will have more HP. Let's see. We're going to definitely get off this Tailwind right off the bat. They do not Dynamax, and this Water Spout is going to pop off here. It's going to pop off here. Let's see how much damage this move can do. I don't really use this move too much, but let's see. Water Spout. You. Not bad. Not bad for a double move here. You'll have to see it. Heat Wave's going to come out here. Who's he missing? Jelly Sentinel Voice Attack. That's fine. Probably trigger my Focus Ash here. No, it does not trigger my Focus Ash. But Facade's going to come out here. Probably take out my Wins. Probably take out my wind Scott. And who did we go into? Did we go into my Wins? No, not my whims. My uh, Bisharp. I could go into my Bisharp, but that low sweep does work. Same thing with that Iron Head. We're going to go into a Bisharp. And we're going to go right after it. We're going to Dynamax here. We're going to go after a... Uh, we might Strength Sap the Strikes here. But we're definitely Dynamax here. Trying to get that Tokus out the way. We're going to boost our team's defense here. And then, do we Strength Sap here? We can protect. We can protect. Or we could... I'm going to protect. Do I protect? Mm. It's tough. It's tough. I'm thinking about protecting. I say we just protect with the jelly scent. Play it safe. Or maybe I should just strength sap. Maybe I should just strength sap. Let's see what happens. I don't think he's going to Dynamax considering both his Pokemon have taken some damage already. We're going to get this full Dynamax with Sharp Off. And I can see us potentially taking out that Tokus in one shot if he does not Dynamax. If he does not Dynamax, I can see us just punking on that thing. And then rolling out into the Snorlax with some Axe Knuckle. Boost now our attack. And rocking out with this Bisharp here. Rocking out with this Bisharp. Let's see. What are you going to do, Punk? Come on. Make a move. Make a move. He's going to swap out. I see potentially swapping out into a Raichu with his Snorlax. That'd be fine by me, too. But we're going to Dynamax. Even if he is Dynamaxing, we can outspeed. Because, like I said in the last battle, if you Dynamax first, you will outspeed. Which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Okay. Bisharp gets that Dynamax off. Come on, show me you are not dying next to your tokens. Please show me that you are not dying next to your tokens. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Is he? He, mm -hmm. he the Snorlax? Be the Snorlax? <laughs> I hope it is the Snorlax, because we can try and tap it up. It is the Snorlax, and it is a Gigantamax form. This thing legit looks like Torterra from Diamond and Pearl, the grass starter. The, well, the final evolution of Turtwig, the grass starter. Looks exactly like him with that with the trees on his belly. But we will outspeed here. I can see us taking out that what's it called? Hopefully he's going for my jelly scent. Hopefully he is going for my jelly scent. That'd be awesome. But we are gonna go. Oh, he's going for a follow me, dude. That's fine by me. We're coming after you anyway. We are coming after you anyway. And we are gonna probably take him out with his max steel spike. Oh, he has a berry. He has a berry to neglect some of that steel damage here. Can we still take out? Can we still rock out here? Boop. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go. Berry poo poo. Berry is poo poo. Let's go boost our defense here, which is beautiful. And our jelly sense defense here. Come on, show that this relax is going after my jelly scent. Because I will strength sap it up. Let's see. Max Quake coming out on my sharp. That's tough. Let me eat. <sighs> we eat like crazy. We eat like crazy. We're going to go for a strength sap after this on that uh, relax here. His special defense is going to raise, but luckily we are a physical attacker. We can go into a max knuckle here, boost our attack, all that good stuff. Definitely start rocking out here. Going to that strength sap so that Snorlax doesn't do too much damage. Who's his next Pokemon? His next Pokemon is this Gyarados. Is the Gyarados shiny? Shiny to be exact. Right, Max Knuckle gonna pop out here. We're gonna boost our attack here. And we're just gonna go. Do we go into a strength sap on who? On whom do we go into a strength sap? I definitely want to strength sap on uh, someone. Maybe the Snorlax, dude. I don't know. Snorlax really doesn't do too much damage. He really did not do too much damage. So I'm just gonna go on, off on this Gyarados. I'm just going to pop off on this Gyarados here. Plus, we have that defense boost from that Steel Spike, which is nice. So, Strength Sap is going to pop out on this Gyarados to lower its speed. To lower its speed. And we have that Raichu in the back, so we're chilling. And we will gain a little bit of health back if he comes after my Jelly Scent, which I can see potentially his uh, Snorlax coming after my Jelly Scent now. But our Jelly Scent outspeed, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see. What are you going to do, sir? Max Guard? That's fine by me. That is fine by me. We got a free Strength Sap on this Gyarados here. Mwah. Knock down its attack just a little bit. Which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Max Knuckles is going to pop out here. Block it. Could you imagine if we read that and went after that Gyarados? What's this Gyarados going to go for? Power Whip. Okay, that's fine by me. 
We know we outspeed, and we know we can eat up another shot, which is perfect. So we can go into another strength sap, and our left orbs are going to be triggered here. Giving us a little bit more health. So strength sap's going to pop out on that Gyarados once again. So we get some more health. We're going to go into another Max Knuckle. Let's go strength sapping on this Gyarados. Let's go. We're going to be back at full health after the strength sap, which is beautiful. beautiful. Strength sap is such a good move. Like, Corsler's that run it? Oh my god. So annoying with the Evo lights. I got to definitely get a team for that and show it off, because it is just crazy. It is crazy. Like, how broken it can be. It can be so broken, those course lists. Let's go, dude. Look at my boy, but sharp, dude. I love him. I love him. This is his design. I love, like, how it, where his ribs are at. It's kind of, like, steel, like, blades on him for his ribs. It looks dope. It looks dope at his helmet. It looks awesome. Trend Sap's going to pop out from this jelly scent. From the jelly scent, we're going to go back to full health, which is beautiful. And drop his attack another stage, which is beautiful. Look at that. Mwah. Back to full health. Mwah. Let's get it. Max Knuckles is going to pop out here. Do some work. Do some work here on that Snorlax. We're going to boost our attack. So he's going to be done Dynamax next turn. He's going to be done Dynamax next turn. And I think the Tailwind does peter out here. But I still see our Bisharp potentially outspeeding that Gyarados. I'm not too sure. Power is going to come out again. Like I said, do we eat it up? I can go into another Strength Sap and just stall this out big time. I can totally just stall it out big time. Oh, G-Max Replenish. His G-Max move comes out here. That's like poo poo damage, but I think it replenishes his berry if he ate it already. I think that's what it does. I think it's like a free recycle, but we know he's rocking a berry now. Which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, when does Peter out, and both our Dynamaxes are going to fall down. We're both going to fall down here. Okay, okay. So now what do we do from here? Do we just strength sap again? I could go for another strength sap. I think that is exactly what we're going to do. Go for another uh, low sweep on him. Is this, I think, uh, what's it called? Wait, let me go back. I think low sweep is the bigger the Pokemon is. Let's see. You usually make swift attack the legs, which low, oh uh, no. Okay, never mind. I thought it was the heavier the Pokemon, the more damage it does. But, go for another strength sap? Yeah, dude. Get this Gyarados out of here. We're going to go for another strength sap. Play it really slow. We're just going to play it slow, dude. Jelly Sense here to just pester. Just here to pester. I could see him swapping out his Gyarados because that thing's attack is poo poo. <laughs> It's definitely in the dumpster right now with two strength saps on. I'm gonna make it three. He's gonna withdraw that character. So hopefully it's another physical attacker. I'd love to see it. Arcanine, beautiful, beautiful. We'll drop that thing's attack easily. We'll drop its attack easily. He's gonna come in for my Bisharp in a second. He is gonna come off, and we are defiant on our Bisharp, so we are going to boost our attack sharply now, which is beautiful. It's fine. You can drop my attack on my Jelly Scent. That's fine by me. Strength sap's gonna pop out here. Do some work. Drop that attack. We're gonna go for a leg sweep with that boosted attack now because of our defiant ability. Which is huge. Which is huge. Can we do some more work to the Snorlax now? Let's see it. Let's sweep. Yeah. Dude. Nice. Take him out. Let's go, dude. Thank you, Arcanine, for raising my attack sharply. Gonna show off this Bisharp. This Bisharp is rocking out here. We're communicating now. Um, he's gonna go into his Gyarados again. He's gonna go into our Gyarados. We have Raichu. We have Raichu in the back end. So I see us chilling very, very well here. He's gonna go into possibly a Flare Blitz here. And what are we gonna go into? We could Sucker Punch and get a guaranteed shot off here on that Arcanine. Because we know that Arcanine's coming after us. We 100% know that Arcanine's coming after us. Like, it's a fact. It's a it's a fact that that Arcanine's coming after us. I'm not sure if we're going to outspeed. So we're definitely going to go for a uh, Sucker Punch right on that Arcanine. And do we Strength Sap over here? Um, I'm just going to go for a Water Spout. Double up here. Do some work on that Arcanine. Let's see. Sucker Punch pops out. Yeah. yeah. Do some work. Wow. Wow. Wow, Bisharp, you are the man. He's probably going to go down here, which is fine. Water Spout will take that out, and we have the Raichu chilling in the back to finish off this Gyarados. Bisharp, my boy with that Sucker Punch did some mean damage. Recoil takes it out, which is fine. That's fine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Waterfall is going to pop out here. We will eat it up. We are water absorbed with our Jelly Scent. Mwah. Beautiful, and that's game. That's going to be the game. Raichu is going to roll out here and do some work. He's going to do some work here. We can always just strength sap and saw this game out, because he has probably no healing with his Pokemon. That's fine by me, dude. GG, baby. Bisharp, the boy, the goat right there. Did some work, dude. I absolutely love him. That was sick, dude. I love his moveset, too. It's dope. But here we go. Volt Switch out. And then we're just going to go into a Stab Shadow Ball here. Stab Volt Switch, st Stab Shadow Ball. That's game over. Battle was canceled. Beautiful, baby. That is how we rock it out and get it done. Let's get it, guys. Coming off that strong win with our Bisharp. Did some work. Now we're hopping in against Kenneth over here. We got Kenneth rocking a Tour Cole. Mimikyu, Butterfree, and DD, Bronzor, and 
and a Rack Whitney. This is definitely a Trick Room team right here. I can see him leading that in DD and maybe that Bronzor. That's what I think he's gonna lead. Try to set out that Trick Room. We're gonna roll out into our uh our Arcanine and Whimscott in that front end. Do we really want to bring our Whimscott here? Because he won't do too much if, we're, if they're rocking Trick Room. So we could totally just go Arcanine in that front spot. And we could Arcanine Jelly Send it. And then roll in with our Bisharp and our Darmanitan. I really don't want to bring our Raichu this match because he doesn't he doesn't have any electric moves here. The Raichu is not really going to uh, shine here. He's not really going to shine here. So we're definitely going to be bringing in our Bisharp and our Darmanitan here. I, I like the lead. We're not going with that Whimscott because we know the Trick Room's coming. So Tailwind is a waste. Tailwind is a waste. But we're thinking. We're thinking here, boys. We are thinking. We're thinking here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's rock out. Kenneth, Kenneth is about to get the smack it. We're going to give him a little bit of... Psh, 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 psh. Kenneth, get out of here. Psh, 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 psh. Swat him away. Who's going to lead? Bronzor and DD? DD and Zoe. Let's see. Bronzor and DD. Okay, beautiful. Like I said, we saw that coming. This is why we led that RK9. Why we led that RK9. We're going to go into Tim Day here. And what are we going to do here? How are we going to rock out here? Oh, uh, he's probably gonna go, go for a follow me. Psychic Surge is out and ready to go. Psychic Surge is out and ready to go. Do we dine our Arcanine here? We could potentially Dynamax our Arcanine. Let's see, let's see. We can go for a Flare Blitz. No, we cannot. I wasn't saying Flare Blitz. I meant to say will but we cannot because the Psychic Surge is out. I said we just dine him. He's gonna go for a follow me. We're gonna set this Drought up. We're gonna set this Drought up. We're gonna punk after these guys. This super fight. This has no effect. I feel like the What's Called's coming. I feel like the follow me is coming, so I'm definitely going to go for a water spell in order to do damage. Because if he follows me, then the what's called? Then the uh, the Shadow Ball is going to slide over to the Indeedee and have no effect. So I'd rather just get the damage off and then if, say that Bronzor is Focus Ash, but I doubt it is. Because Bronzor's aren't really Focus Ash. I mean, it could be considering it's a Trick Room team. So like, if he doesn't follow me and we hit it up, it's going to uh, trigger a Focus Ash. He can be able to get off his Trick Room. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Follow me going to come out here? Follow me is going to come out here. Like I said, like it's just simple. Trick Room teams, I'm trying to learn how to play more and more against these Trick Room teams. So we're going to set this drought here. We're probably going to be able to take out this Indeedee here. Let's see it. Yep, Water Spout's going to take it out. Water Spout is going to take out this Indeedee. It's beautiful. Even though the drought is going to take down a little bit of damage from that Water Spout. Let's see. Can it still take out that Indeedee? You would love to see it. It does. It does. It barely does it. It barely does it. Considering that move, it's like it depends on how much HP they have. But it does do it. It does do the job. Trick Room's gonna pop out here. His Torkoal is gonna go first, and he might come after my Arcanine. He might come after my Arcanine. I think he's gonna roll out with a Torkoal, considering we have that Drought rolling. Mm -hmm. And then we have that Drought rolling. What you want, fool? What you want? Who are you gonna go out to? Spike. This is a rack winning. Spider Man's coming out here. And we're just gonna go into. Do we, no, we're going after his Bronzor. Is he using Protecting or something? We can just Shadow Ball. We could double up on it. Let's double up on it. Let's double up on it in case it does eat up a shot. In case it does eat up one of my Arcanine shots. He's going to go in. Spidey's going to go into a Protect. Beautiful. We're not even going after Spidey. We're not even going after Spidey. We're going after Bronzor. He's going to go for a Bulldoze. Oh, Bulldoze is an, is an all-around move. Wow, there's smart play by him. We eat that up, though, dude. Bronzor's attack. Poo-poo. <laughs> Poo-poo. It's just a defense Pokemon here. Okay, our speed's going to fall. That's fine. You're rolling Trick Room. I really don't care. I really don't care. And now your Bronzor is gone. Your Bronzor is gone. Yeah, yeah. We will stab Shadow Ball and Max Flare is going to take it out. And then we're just going to pop off into a Max Lightning over on that Araquanid here. We might have another clean sweep here. We might have another clean sweep. I don't know why he's going into a Protect. We might want to Dynamax next turn. He still is going to have his Dynamax. But that is tough. That is tough to see. We might want to go into like a Strength Sap or something. We're definitely going into a Max Lightning. We might swap out depending on the Pokemon that he throws out. Because he's going to try to go after my Arcanine. Use his next Pokemon. His next Pokemon is a Butterfree. We're going to go into this Arcanine. Or not our Arcanine. We're definitely going to be uh, Max Lightning this Araquanid. Getting this thing out of the way. I want this Araquanid dead. And then we're going to be swapping out. We swap out into our Bisharp. The Bisharp has that Sucker Punch and that Assault Vest. We could go into Darmanthia. I'm going to swap out into my Bisharp here. I'm just going to swap out here. Jelly Scent's going to come back. Because I don't think he's going after my Jelly Scent. I think he's going straight after my uh, Arcanine. We get out a free swap here. This is what I think. He's going to Dynamax his Iraq when it go for a Max Geyser. But the Max Geyser is going to be poo poo. It is going to be poo poo in this drought. Considering droughts lower the damage of water moves. There's a big Spidey boy. His last ditch effort here. His last ditch effort. But dude, Arcanine is so good. I showed him off in that first battle. With that sweep, we're dominating with him right now.
dominating with him right now. I can see a sleep powder coming in here. Let's see. Actually, I'm just gonna pop out here. Watch how little damage this does. Watch this. Watch this eat this up. Mwah. I thought it was gonna do less. I actually did, but we still ate it up because of that drought. And the, the rain's gonna come in here. The rain's gonna come in here, and now Max Lightning's gonna pop off here and do some work on him. Oh, wee. Your boy forgot about the citrus berry. Your boy forgot about the citrus berry. Let's go. We're gonna rock out here. Max Lightning, we do out. We are slower than that Butterfree. Wow, but <laughs> see you later. See you later. See you later, Araquanid. We get a crit, baby, but I, that was taking him out regardless. Regardless, I was just doing some work on him. Hands down. And what is his Butterfree going to go into? What is his Butterfree going to go into? We're just going to rock out into a Sucker Punch after this. Actually, probably not. He's probably going for Sleep Powder, so why would we rock out into a Sucker Punch? Sleep Powder's going to come out here. And we have that Electric Terrain. We have that Electric Terrain. Oh, yes, sir. That is going to be the game. This guy is going to hit the Bounce, Boogie, and Skididdle. Um, just going to go into a Flare Blitz. And then we're just going to go into a Sucker Punch because he has to go into a, uh, a move here. He's probably going to leave. He's probably going to cancel that and like, mm -hmm, wrap it up with his controller and go away. Rage Powder is going to pop out here. Sucker Punch is going to fail now, which is tough. Which is tough. Sucker Punch is going to fail. But it's all good. It's all good. Flare Blitz. Mwah. See you later, punk. Yee, baby. There we go. Let's get it. Let's go, dude. This team rocked out for us, dude. That Arcanine was huge, but Sharp's huge, too. And there's another sweep for you. Two sweeps. Two clean sweeps. We, we didn't lose a Pokemon in the first and the third battle. Let's get it. Third. Not, 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 not third. I did this. <laughs> Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. We rocked out with this Bishar team. I absolutely loved it. I really did. But still, my favorite team so far is the team that we used in the last video. You guys should definitely go check it out. If you haven't checked it out, it is a Hailstorm team with Frost Last. Dude, it is sick. It is definitely a great video and an awesome team. But here's one last look at this team right here if you would like to use it for yourself. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely check it out. Also, guys, let me know for question of the day. What is your favorite Steel type Pokemon? And leave me your rental codes in the comment section down below. I would love to use your guys' rental code teams in videos and all that good stuff. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.